Hi bloggers, thanks for joining me on my first blogcast. I have a very special brand here that is near and dear to my heart. Zuke. Zuke is a line of raw, vegan, fermented, probiotic-filled sauces, dressings, relishes, and drinks. All other ingredients are 100% natural, and there are no chemicals in the preservation of these products. All of the vegetables are sourced locally to create the best, most fresh ingredients possible, all while decreasing their carbon footprint when creating these delicious goodies. They have kindly offered a fantastic giveaway to cupcakes, rings, and glittery things. One lucky winner will receive their choice of six dressings and drinks. You can enter the contest in one of three ways. You have to be a follower of Cupcakes, Rings, and Glittery Things on the blog. You can also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, and then you have to comment on why you want to win and shout out a little something nice to Zuke while you're at it. The contest winner will be announced tomorrow on Cupcakes, Rings, and Glittery Things just before I post the recipe of the week. Now that I've told you some great things about Zuke, let's get down to it and we'll talk about the product. Okay, so we have the relishes here. We have horseradish and garlic. <clears throat> the horseradish is very interesting. Not as spicy as horseradish typically tastes. I love both horseradish and garlic. So this for me, it was very good, but could have had a little more zip. The garlic is amazing. I love garlic. I like to mix the two together, actually. They create a really nice combination together. Uh, so I put these on top of my tofu dogs with a little bit of ketchup, and it is perfection. Now we have the salsas, the mild and the hot. Now, when I received these, they were at room temperature. You're supposed to put them in the refrigerator as you open them. Um, they are fermented, so they do fizz a little bit due to all of the goodness inside of it, the lovely bacteria that's growing. With that being said, I tried them both without them being refrigerated. I thought the mild was very tomatoey and the hot wasn't hot at all. However, when I tried them after I took them out, when they were cold, the mild, yes, still very tomatoey, was nice and watery like I like salsa, so that was great for me. The hot, though I love hot things and I love hot sauce, the hot was so hot for me which is interesting because I read so many reviews about the hot salsa being very mild. However, my husband loved the hot salsa for me. It's a little too much. I may have to mix the two together otherwise. It's very, very hot for me, but regardless, they're both great. They're both watery the way that I like them. They make excellent salsas. Fantastic. As I've said, Zuke makes a line of drinks called the Kvass. They have four, which is the beet, beet ginger, carrot ginger, and the vegetable medley. I don't have any to show today, and I've only tried one, which was the vegetable medley. I can't say anything bad about it, but I'm also quite biased. I love vegetable drinks, and especially if there's any sort of fermentation or probiotic infused in it, I'm a big candidate to love it. Uh, the carrot ginger sounded very good to me as well because of the the dressing I love so much and it's so spicy that I think it'd be a great drink as well. I haven't tried the beet or the beet ginger so I don't know how those taste. Maybe our winners, if they choose any of the beverages, they could write back to us and let us know what they think of them. It'd be a great follow-up to the blog cast. With that said, let's move on over to the dressings which is my favorite part. Okay, so next we're going to go over the dressings. That was my favorite part. I love, love, love the dressings. In fact, they're just so amazing. I put them on everything these days. Um, we'll start with my favorite one, the carrot ginger. This one is by far the best dressing they have. The carrot flavor is bold, but the ginger is so spicy that it gives a really, really, really nice, rich tang to the dressing. Um, a lot of people say that their dressings are a little weak. Again, I'm vegan, so for me, they taste very strong. I'm sure if it was a meat or dairy palate, it might not be as strong as you would hope. You can always add more. Not a big deal. This dressing specifically is incredibly thick, so it's like a salad within a salad. It's just, it's that good. It tastes just like your local Japanese food restaurant carrot ginger dressing. This is the best one ever. To my winner, I also suggest just giving it a whirl. 
Um, another one that I am particularly fond of is the tomato olive, which was originally tomato Provencal. I love olives. I like tomato puree, but I hate tomatoes. I know, I'm a little strange here. But this one is great. We put this as a mixture with one of the other dressings I'll show you shortly in with a pasta we had the other day. It was great. The olive tone in it is so, so wonderful. It's a nice little hint of salt without overkill because I'm not a big salt fan. This is a great mix of the two, a great combination, especially if you're a tomato lover. Next we have my third favorite, the sweet onion basil. This is also very thick, like the carrot ginger. I really, really enjoy this and I enjoy mixing it with the carrot ginger. Um, <clears throat> I love basil and I love onions, so the combination here is wonderful. Um, it's great in salads. I haven't used it with pasta yet, so I don't know about that. Um, also, it's really great to mix just with raw vegetables or with stir-fried vegetables as a topper. Adds a nice little pop of flavor. I really recommend this one as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the next one that I have here is a favorite of my husband's. It's the red pepper cilantro. I love red pepper. I love cilantro. This is complex because you get a lot of the red pepper flavor up front and you only pick up the cilantro every now and again. I kind of like that because it's like a surprise in your mouth. Which bite will have the cilantro, which bite won't. This one is very, very appealing to the palate. I strongly recommend. Uh, this one is fantastic for pastas. We did the mixture of the tomato, prov or tomato olive, not Provencal anymore, tomato olive and the tomato pepper basil. This was great. It has a heavy basil undertone, and the tomato's nice. A lot of people like marinara sauce for their pasta. Sometimes I find it too strong, so I make my own to tone it down a little bit. This is the perfect mix as a, a light tomato base for a sauce. Um, and lastly, one dressing that I thought I would love, but I was surprised by the fact that I didn't love it too much. Um, the cucumber mint. I love cucumbers, I love mint. Due to the fermentation in this product, I think it turned a little more pickly than mint, or pickly than cucumber mint. My husband really enjoyed this, but he is a pickle fan. So this one's great, especially if you like pickles. If you're looking for a heavy cucumber mint taste, you're not going to see as much cucumber as you would wish to see. That's okay though, still great. I probably won't use it as much as he will. Um, Lastly, about the dressings, another great thing is that they don't contain oils. Actually, this one does contain oil, the carrot ginger. It doesn't contain canola oil, and none of them contain sugar, which is very hard to find when you're buying store-bought dressings. Again, it's another reason why I make my own dressings and sauces. These don't. They're amazing. They're refrigerated. I really can't say anything bad about anything. Yes, other than the cucumber tasting a little more pickly, it's still not bad. I really enjoyed every dressing here, and I tried them last year when I was at the New York Eco Fest. I actually met Scott there, and he explained a little bit about the product line, and I really, really liked what I saw. Um, <clears throat> it came down to the fact that only one grocer in my area carried it at the time, and um, now you can purchase all of the products that I'm showing you here at foodaro.com. Zuke has a, an area on there. It's, it's a food website where different vendors sell their goods. Zuke kindly offers free shipping as well. You can have your choice of six varied dressings or six individual dressings of the flavor that you choose. And then you have an option of four sauces or four relishes or a combination of all four. It's a great deal. It's a great site. You can also check Zuke out at Zuke.com, and um, it's a great product line. You should give it a try, and don't forget to enter the contest. You should definitely give it a whirl, especially if someone's willing to give it to you as a prize. So check it out, and hopefully you'll be following Cupcakes, Rings, and Glittery Things if you're not.